What's up, gang? Case here with our CrossFit strength work for Monday, August 2nd. Four sets of five back squat, super setting with four sets of 30 seconds of handstand practice. So we're going to attempt to go to freestanding handstand practice today. So freestanding kickups without the wall, to, wall for support. Uh, if you're not quite ready for that, we can take it back over to the wall for a 30 second handstand hold, preferably chest facing the wall. And if you're not ready to get on the wall, then we can go toes up on a box and we can get into that pike hold instead. Back squats this week, four sets of five. We did three by six last week. Um, hopefully you left some in the tank because our goal is to move up 10 to 20 pounds on these sets of five this week. So lower sets or lower reps per set, but more total volume with those four sets of five. And we're going to be hitting four sets of six next week. So our goal is to be able to take the same weight that we hit for fives this week and hit them for sixes next week. So you're not going to magically get stronger between this week and next week. So make sure that today's sets are pretty difficult, but you still have a couple reps left in the tank so that you can take these heavy reps up to sixes in next week's strength work. On back squats today, I want you to focus on two things. First thing is that initial hip shift. So one of the big problems that we've been seeing in weeks past is after people get set up, they get tall, they get tight, which is good. They initiate the squat by bending their knees. We don't want to do that. So when we start that squat, the first thing that happens is the hip tilts back. That loads up that posterior chain. And then once our hips are in that back position, then we can start to bend through the knees, keeping that bar over the center of the foot extending hips and knees at the same rate to get back to the top. The second thing that I want you to focus on is where are you feeling that squat? So one of the things that happens with that early knee bend is you tend to feel that squat all in the front of the leg. If you focus on shifting those hips back first, you'll feel the back of the leg load up. Then as the knee bends, you feel the front of the leg load up a little bit more so that in this bottom position, you're feeling that long spine, that tight belly, and you've got tension through your glutes, hamstrings, and your quads before you drive back to the top. On these reps today, control that down. No bouncing out of the bottom. If you have to bounce out of the bottom, that means you don't really have the strength to turn it over muscularly. So be sure that it's a smooth turnover in the bottom and that you're not resting any longer than just long enough to set that breath at the top on each rep. These are heavy sets today, so give yourself plenty of warm-ups. I'd recommend three to four sets of five reps before you start that first working set today. You'll stay at the same weight for all four sets of five. Rest about 90 seconds between your back squats and your handstand practice. If we go for the freestanding version today, uh, we've been focusing in weeks past on building those good foundational blocks. So good hand position, middle finger just outside the shoulder, fingertips forward, looking between the thumbs, and then also learning to hold that hollow body position when we're inverted. So as we kick up today, I don't want you kicking too far over so that we get into this arch position, which is the problem for most people on handstands. We're gonna be trying to stop a little bit short of vertical today, just learning how to take pressure onto those hands, not relying on the wall for safety, but also not going so far that we get overextended at the top. So when we set up, we wanna go ahead and find our tall and tight position. We're gonna step forward with one foot. We're gonna plant those hands about four feet out in front of our stance position. And starting, we're just gonna practice bringing the feet off the ground a little bit. Feet don't even have to be together. Swing one leg up, then the other leg up. And then as you start to get more confident, we can start swinging the legs a bit higher and trying to bring those toes together at the top. So I'm not looking for you to get up there and necessarily be able to hold this for a long period of time today. I'm looking for you to be able to get up there, eventually get to where you can get those toes together, but you can find that tight hollow position. Once you get more comfortable with that, then you can work on your weight shifting over your fingertips a little bit more, which is where you'll start to find that balance point. If you feel like you're gonna flip forward on any of those kickups, remember all you have to do is throw a hand forward. 
and allow you to roll out to the side. So if you feel like you're coming forward, just throw one hand forward and you'll roll off to the side. If you're not ready for those freestanding kickups, once again, come back to the wall, practice that for 30 seconds, or go toes up on a box and practice that pike hold for 30 seconds. Good luck on today's strength work, and we'll see you back soon for our Metcon.